Welcome back. Well, we are talking a little bit about the Eagles now. Yeah, definitely. And guess what? We have a very, very, very insider type guest. Giselle, who we got this week? That's very true. I'm joined by Bob Ford, who is an award-winning sports columnist for the Philadelphia Inquirer. We are talking the Eagles, like you guys said. Last season, the Eagles exceeded all expectations of their then first-year head coach, Chip Kelly. But now it's season number two. And first, let's talk defense. Bob, the Eagles are in their second year of the 3-4 defense. Their spirits are up. I think part of the reason that there's a little more optimism about the defense this season, and certainly it was not their strong point last year, is that they will now be in the second year of going into the new 3-4 defense system. So there was a lot of adjustment by a lot of the players last year, and that's not very easy. So now they're hoping they're going to get a more effective pass rush, and as soon as you get a better pass rush and the quarterback has less time, then that makes your secondary that much better. All right, we've said defense wins games, but now the Eagles actually have to score some points. How is their offense going to do with the addition of Darren Sproles, who joins the Nick Foles and LaShawn McCoy mix? One leads to the pass, and LaShawn McCoy is going to get the majority, the, the vast majority of the chances back there. So I think you're going to see Darren Sproles used in a lot of different ways. I don't think you're going to see him used as a traditional running back, certainly anywhere near as much as, as – uh, LaShawn McCoy and certainly not taking away those carries from McCoy if he's able to stay healthy. All right, so the Eagles stay healthy on both sides of the ball and now with an even tougher schedule. Bob, what's your prediction? I think 10 and 6, the same record they had last year, would be about the top end to what I would predict. But I do think 10 and 6 is going to be plenty to win the NFC East and to get them back into the playoffs as a home team in that, in that first round. The things you worry about are, like every other team, staying healthy. They had a phenomenally lucky year last year with their offensive line. I think they, the starting five played something like 1,000 out of 1,060 snaps. So they still need to get that kind of really good production and sort of lucky health from the offensive line because that's what's going to make everything go for them. But right now, if you have to twist my arm and ask me, and I hope you don't twist my arm, I'm going to say 10-6. and six. I'm going to say they make the playoffs again. And given the fact that I think they're going to have a more difficult road, given the fact that other teams sort of know a little bit more about how Chip Kelly works now, I think 10-6 and six is going to be a success. There'll be no twisting of arms here. Again, that was Bob Ford, sports columnist from the Philadelphia Inquirer. Spencer Trey, 10-6 and six again is another bold prediction. What are your predictions for the Eagles this season? I'm not saying anything. <laughs> Definitely uh, pretty steep. I mean, it's possible yeah. in that division, I feel like, but I, I think it's closer to about the 8-9 to nine range. Well, the fan in, in me is telling me no, they won't win the division. But the analyst in me is telling me yes, they got better, they improved their team from a 10-6 record, so I think that they will. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and take another quick commercial break, but don't go anywhere because on the other side, it's everybody's favorite segment, the top plays of the week, the best goals, catches, and touchdowns. That's coming up next. Hi, I'm Jordan Clark from Woodbridge High School. I play field hockey, and I'm right mid and you're watching Delmarva Sports Insider. 